yeah, it's it's been a while. I, there's just work things like that. Don't don't worry about it. It's not. It's nothing super important. It's fine. Okay. <clears throat> but we're going to do a sort of unboxing and then review because I feel like it. So it's mainly a review. It's fine. Of this, combat warriors. Uh, this is something that's been sitting in B&M for a long time. Uh, I dare say Blue should probably shout at me for it. He seems to want me to go into B&M a lot. Uh, I haven't heard of him in a in a while. Hi, Blue Shoes. You are right. Uh, it was down to three ninety nine. I'm convinced that's not the original price, because I'm sure I saw it for about 5 or 6 at Christmas, and I didn't think it was worth it. But it was actually reduced down to £3. So that's where my stinginess came in. Uh, it seems like a transformable robot hero lights up battery operated lights up Ooh, button well that's a thing isn't it but yeah it's um i don't know so it goes from a car to a robot to a car with guns rather than sword and shield and there's a close-up whatever um uh, yeah, there we go. So, just before we even get it out, there's Bulby. Uh, Age of Extinction Bulby. There we go. It's... This thing's probably going to be about deluxe size, but barely. And I can't find my knife. I'm not sure why. Uh, so I'm going to open it with a pair of nail clippers, because I'm classy. Um, or do I need to? Is this glue? How do you get that ah, top, top? Uh, <clears throat> how are people enjoying this new camera, by the way? Because um, the last video I did, it sounded quite muffled. I'm not sure if anyone could hear me. Granted, it's probably a good thing, because I do talk an absolute lot of rubbish. But it might be better if you could hear me slightly. All right, so that's our... Get rid of that. We've got this. All right, how do we... And there's, there's, there are things in the post. If people saw my Should I video the other day, there are things in the post. I say things. Um, one of the things that the option was given off, and possibly some other things. In fact, I just bought some things. Uh, my first purchase from Big Bad Toy Store. Probably shouldn't have done, but it was one of those, eh, click. So I'm an idiot, basically. Um, so we've got part of the car with a little really flimsy looking handle, but all right, fair enough. At least it's styled, which doesn't seem to want to turn. I don't want to snap it. We've got a light up sword with the sticker on, which you could probably peel off, but that's powerful. Okay, looks quite neat, but massive and junky. We've got some sort of anti-tank rifle. Which is so hollow, it's unreal. Nice details, but like I say, it's so hollow. And some sort of, what, Uzi? Or some variety, something like that? Sure, why not? And I'll have a look at this guy, and these can't be the feet. There's got to be something you do with that, surely. They, that can't be what you're calling feet. Quick glance at the box, bear with me. Yeah, that's what you're calling face. That's just how he's supposed to be. Let's just... Hmm... Should I bring this down more to your look, kids? Let's have a look. There we go. Uh, yeah, the arms do come out a bit more so they can go forward and back. Uh, ball joint. Ball joints for the hands. Let's see if we can get this rotated so we can use it properly. There we go. Although that's not exactly great out of the box. Um, heads a bit. Come on, detail. Zoom. Yeah, I don't care if there's glare. Zoom. Zoom. There we go. Heads all right. Bit boring, but it's all right. Hips are... They're not quite ball joints. I'm not sure what they are. 
You get a bit of motion out of them, they're really stiff, mind. Um, yeah, you know what, he's, he's not the worst thing I've ever seen. He's not great, but he's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Uh, and the all-important fact, let's look how bad he is from the back. Yeah, hollow. Is there a way of attaching this to the back here just to cover that up? Because if you cut, that wouldn't look so bad. Because that's got to be the front of the window, so it'd be... Yeah, whatever. And he comes with guns and stuff, and you can put them in the hands, maybe, if you're lucky. There's possibility there if you got nothing going, but I really don't know if it's good enough to be like, yes, yeah, my best favourite toy ever, said any child ever. Because it, it, it's not going to be, is it? Let's see if we can give him the big light-up sword, which he definitely won't be able to stand while holding. Get in the hand. Right, okay. So he's standing, he's got the sword, and... Because it's way too heavy. The, there's no weight in these feet. I was thinking you might be able to turn it or something. In fact, look at the shape there. See how this is round, like it's been shaped to do something. And there's another one there. But they don't do anything. That's really weird. Really weird. It's like they cut a step at the last second. <clears throat> so the weapons are a bust. Yeah. Although that does light up nicely. Wee. Now, without looking at the instructions or anything else, let's see if I can transform it. So we're going to peg the feet together. We're going to fold the head in. One, yeah, fold that in. Hold that back. Shove the arms in. Rotate them back into the gaps. It should be quite standard. It should be quite simple. Even I should be able to do this. Hooray! Get those. Is that as far as it goes? Yes, it is. All right, okay. The wheels are going to stick out a mile, but fine. Um, this appears to just have two little pegs there. Can you see? So the, I'm fine with the auto zoom. See, so peg and peg with hole and hole. So I think you just plug that in there. Line this up. There you go. And close all this up. I can't say I feel ripped off, because it was quite cheap, but it's not exactly great, is it? It's just, why is this some kind of, it looks like some sort of Mustang to me, I don't know why, it just does. It's alright, I mean, <laughs> what mod you want? It doesn't seem to want to roll, I'm not sure why. These wheels just tight, I think. That one's alright. This one's just a bit tight. There's nothing blocking it, it's just a bit tight. There's probably a bit of flash in there somewhere. If you could undo the screw, take it off, tidy it up a bit, put it back on, it'd probably be fine. So, it doesn't roll because that one tire doesn't want to. Otherwise, it should be fine. Um, Plastic's not terrible. I've been a little bit rough with it, and it's it's taken it. It's taken it like a champ. So, yeah, it's fine. I guess. So, yeah. Uh, I, like I say, I've... Yeah, that, I'm done with that now. I'm going to put it on the shelf and forget about it. Um, I've got stuff in the post, like I say. I've ordered some things, and I ordered some stuff a while ago from Sirtoys. Uh... Which was they tried to deliver yesterday, and normally they give it the thing and they go, "Oh, we've uh, left it at the local place. You can pick it up. Find great sources." I'm like, "Oh, okay, no worries." Uh, this is from the just the tracking number when I was at work. I got home, picked up the card. We'll try and deliver it again tomorrow. I'm like, "Well, don't do that. I'm in work all week. You can't deliver it tomorrow. I won't be here." So <clears throat> I went online. I rebooked it. I'm like, "Okay, well, when's the next 
day off I could have. Saturday, right, okay, deliver it Saturday. £12 to deliver on a Saturday. What do you mean £12 for a Saturday? All right, okay, well, I'll send it to another address. Uh, £5.50. To send it to another address? No. Okay, send it to the local post office. at uh, £1. All right, well, I, I could suppose I could do that. Then again, I've got to make, I get out of work at 5. I've got to get to the post office and collect it before 6 o'clock. Don't know if I can do that. I'll tell you what, I'll send it to the post office on Saturday. Uh, £1 for the post office, £12 for the Saturday. I can't do that. When's the next actual, during the week, day off I've got? Week on Thursday. So I booked a re-delivery for a week on Thursday. <clears throat> got home today. We failed to deliver your parcel. It's like, what are you talking about? And now they've just left a, the post office down the road. Unfortunately, it was too late for me to get that, so I've got a, a lift straight from work to the post office. So hopefully tomorrow I'll have a Sertoys unboxing for you. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to warn you now, I've bought two things from that, and they've hinted that um, they have, they've had a warehouse clearance. So I dread to think how big this box is going to be and what stuff's going to be in it. But anyway, I've talked enough nonsense. Um, hopefully the new camera um, I will get used to and I will perfect, but I've got no promises. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not dead. I'm, I'm still here and I will be doing things. And uh, the battery works on this. So I will be going back over there eventually. I say eventually, I just started piling rubbish up on there. Anyway. I should be ugly, I should be wretched, I shall see all of you in the next one.